Hello there friends, welcome back to the channel, I'm Patrice, we're gonna paint some helmets. Yes, like I said, welcome back to the channel, uh, my name is Patrice and uh, it's been, uh, what, two years now almost since my last video on YouTube, my last vlog. And I wanted to come back because you guys made a lot of comments, a lot of questions uh, in my YouTube channel. I didn't pay much attention. I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, I went through different things uh, in the last two years. Uh, we had a pandemic, the end of the pandemic. For some reasons, it was way longer here the restrictions were way longer here in Quebec and in Canada than, than the rest of the world, but we're back at normal now, um, and we've been for a while actually. Uh, I went through uh, personal <clears throat> I went through personal tragedy. I lost my mom uh, two years ago. She passed away at 71. Uh, she's greatly missed, and I decided to actively stop painting helmets. Now that doesn't mean that I won't paint helmets anymore. Therefore. And this is why I'm restarting the channel, uh, because I felt like it was a fun thing to do. It was, a, it was, an, it was an, an enjoyable thing to do for me, and this is why I wanted to come back to it. Uh, yes, I've stopped actively painting helmets, which means I don't have, like I used to, tons of helmets here on the shelf waiting to be painted. Um, I'm working on a new business project, a new thing for me, and uh, more about that later. I don't, I can't really talk about it now, and I'm gonna talk about it later. So I wanted to restart the vlog to actually take it back where I left. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, the different aspect of helmet paint and uh, how to do things uh, properly. Now this time I, I'm gonna go more into uh, details. I had tons of questions about, uh, you know. What airbrush do you use? What kind of paint do you use? We're going to go through that. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys what I personally use and what I think I you know you should be using to paint a helmet if you are in a good situation where you can use the, these product. And we're going to talk talk about the safety of using these products as well. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, I want to talk about motorsport helmets like I used to do in the past. But I got a couple interesting projects coming up, different things. Um, I got two American football helmets to paint as replicas, no, no play helmets here. Now these needs to be resprayed by the factory, the manufacturer. Now I'm talking about two football helmets that are going to be used as displays on the shelf. Uh, my son and I are both uh, football fans and I wanted to do uh, replicas of our favorite teams. More about our favorite teams later. But, um, and also... <laughs> And also, I have a um, I have a bicycle helmet uh, to paint for a friend. I don't do those very often, but still, uh, and and I and I hate doing them. They're hard to get around. But I'm going to show you guys how I think they should be done, and 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 how to properly paint them so you don't damage uh, and you don't change the integrity uh, and the safety of 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 the bicycle helmet. This week, I got a cool segment about preparing a carbon ri gp7 helmet for the new fia regulations concerning helmet paint and i film uh i film a video about how to properly prep a helmet for that so let's roll the tape okay like i said i'm back at painting helmets for recreational purpose only i've actively stopped painting helmet and moved on to something else in my life but once in a while I'm going to be painting a helmet and document it and put it on YouTube so let's get started with this one this is a beautiful Arai GP7 carbon helmet uh, that I need to be uh, uh, painting for a local driver the guy is a he's an international driver for Mercedes uh, he races uh, uh, many FIA sanctioned event and New rules uh, regarding helmet painting by the FIA uh, stipulates that you cannot remove the rubber trim around the visor and at the bottom of, of the helmet anymore. Uh, that's uh, a new rule for this year. Um, the driver is responsible for making sure that 
his painter follow these rules. So this is exactly what I'm going to do now. Uh, I've let the driver know that uh, I can't remove the rubbers anymore. Uh, it could create some potential problem uh, uh, around these rubber um, these these rubber trims, but we'll see how we can um, you know mask and 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 do a nice job. So uh, we need to mask uh, for and get it ready for sanding. So let's get started, and uh, I'll bring you along. All right. Here's, um, here's a quick tip, quick tip for you guys. Um, each helmet have a couple of uh, very important FIA or CSF sticker that are inside the liner here and, 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 and slapped there by the manufacturer. It is extremely important when you mask the interior of the helmet that when you remove that mask, those stickers don't come with the tape, you know, at the end of the process. So what I do is I like to keep uh, a whole bunch of these uh, silicone backing paper from vinyl, and I like to, you know, cut them at a at the right size, and just and just drop them there, you know, behind the liner, over the uh, over the sticker, so my tape won't stick to these uh, important stickers, so you won't get them off. So it's kind of a it's kind of an over the top precaution but I like to do it just in case yeah
And here it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video um, about masking in preparation for the sanding. Um, I will cover the sanding in the next next video. I'll explain what product I use and uh, and, and and how I do it. So uh, until then, uh, friends, keep the paint flowing, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.